Um, the, most, the most recent one I can remember is we had an autistic boy come in that had to have a stress test done. And we didn't know at the time that he was autistic or he was coming in. And his mother had made a book explaining everything that had to be done. And you had to file the book. And you couldn't change any of the pathway of the book and what you were doing and what you were saying. So um, we got through it with him. And then afterwards, we got a really nice letter from her. And she'd sent a letter to the board and the president saying, what a good job we did. So that was nice, getting recognition for that. The most memorable, I guess, uh, case or uh, patient experience was uh, patient that we had on Christmas Eve that came in um, with uh, chest pain and was having a big heart attack and uh, really um, looked very sick um, and uh, you know we uh, did the, sort of the standard therapy and took him to the cath lab and fixed he had a blocked up artery that we fixed and and um, uh, he left the hospital um, in great shape um, and to this day says that he was reborn on Christmas um, and um, I'll never really forget that in that case, yeah. Well, I think the, the most, uh, we were just outside talking, the most uh, interesting um, memorable cases that we have are, uh, from my standpoint, interventional cardiology is, uh, you know, the helping uh, patients, you know, especially young and old. We were just talking about uh, some of the youngest people we've seen with heart attacks and, uh, you know, able to save their lives. So, you know, it's always exciting to do that, to really change somebody's life, you know, mm -hmm. like that. Well, it, every day is a memorable experience, but uh, there's a lot of patients that we see here who have interesting stories, and it's always uh, rewarding when you can do uh, significant changes in people's lives. And I think I have a lot of patients who uh, I think I've made a significant impact on. Um, in terms of personal things that have happened here, I think that we have a great team of physicians and made some great friends since I've been here. So I've been very happy here, and there's been uh, lots of stories, not one really to pinpoint down, but a lot of things is going back. I think probably some of the most interesting memories I have so far are actually running into people that can be connected to my childhood or to my past, and these are both um, employees of the uh, Sherman Healthcare System, uh, some of which I went to high school with, or some of whom I went to high school with, as well as patients who are um, uh, oftentimes family members of uh, either people that I grew up with or people that I somehow knew um, as a kid. Those have probably been the most remarkable or interesting memories, of course. There are many patient care situations that stick out, um, probably probably too many to go into detail, and I, and I certainly wouldn't want to uh, you know, break any privacy laws. <laughs> I have lots of stories. I don't know if I, you know, <laughs> should tell all of them here. But uh, generally, you know, I appreciate collegiality of the of, of the work here and uh, the 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 support between ourselves uh, that we give not only within like you know which is natural within the one group but between our all colleagues here. So the the overall working experience at the institution is uh, very good and. Uh, patients uh, mix is very interesting and uh, you tend to have a chance to meet interesting people and I really like the the nursing s n the nursing staff support when I start to work that's what uh, kind of impressed me initially when I was started to work in Sherman knowing many hospitals you know as a fellow resident you moonlight in multiple places so uh, so I very enjoy this environment my memorable uh, experience was uh, my initial introduction to this whole institution when I joined the group, uh, they were doing like the variety show in the Sherman Hospital. So when I came, uh, I started like beginning of uh, August and uh, there's like two weeks since I started and my partners told me, oh, we have to go to practice line dancing. <laughs> and <laughs> so I had to go to do line dancing <laughs> and um, get some, you know, cowboy dress and all this stuff. And we, we had the, the show that was going on. It was mostly done by Sherman staff. And most of the audience, fortunately, were Sherman people too. So <laughs> it was done in Elgin. So it was pretty funny. The, the first thing on the job I had to learn was the line dancing. There's been many wonderful experiences. Um, two experiences come to mind. One is um, February of 2001. My son was actually born here at Sherman Hospital. And uh, we had no idea that there was going to be any kind of complications. But as soon as they, um, as soon as he was born, he started turning blue, and uh, they diagnosed him with a congenital heart defect. 
Um, when he got transferred to Loyola, just a few hours after he was born, the staff at Loyola said it was because of the Sherman Hospital's quick response and quick diagnosis to our son's congenital heart defect that he had such positive outcomes. Um, and now he'll be celebrating his 10th birthday next month. So that's a wonderful, wonderful personal and professional story that I have for Sherman Hospital. The other thing that comes to mind is uh, March 2008, we actually opened a new uh, heart failure recovery center, which is a heart failure clinic here at Sherman. Uh, it was started by a large team of people um, who worked for about a year to get the program up and running. And then um, I was able to be a part of that team and help get the program off the ground and worked there for um, over two and a half years. And so now the program's up and running and has some great outcomes and we're very proud of it. Um, definitely, I think the whole Sherman is about the family, about the workers that you work with. Um, yeah, especially in the departments that I am in now. I've known those nurses for all the years that I've been here. Um, they are part of what makes Sherman what it is. Um, the care that we give um, and the patients that we meet along the way um, truly are remarkable people that tell their stories and we're able to tell stories as well. Um, I would say over the course of the 17 years, I've always done some type of cardiac care. So I have a lot of, um, you know, history with certain patients. There are patients that I took care of up in critical care when they had their open heart surgery, you know, 15 years ago that I still get to see here every year when they come in for their stress test. So it's kind of nice that, you know, you took care of someone during such a critical time in their life and now you get to see them every year, you know, doing well and thriving and, you know, just being healthy, which is, is really great. And I would say here at Sherman, especially the people that I work with now, we work with a great group of people and you know, lots of great friends here in the unit and you know, that makes coming to work a, a good experience. Um, you know, there's good experiences, bad experiences. Um, I think for the most part, the, the experiences that I remember most are the times that I was able to just to touch somebody's heart in a way. Um, maybe they're just going through a really bad time with, in life and with their health and me just kind of comforting them or letting them feel like it might be okay or you know they're not the only ones going through this hard time um, you can always tell when when they they just come out feeling better a little bit